السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome dear students I am Mr. Alaa Nuri Deen and in this lesson we will study comparing and ordering the set of the rational numbers Remark Any positive number is bigger than any negative numbers and remark number two any negative numbers less than zero and zero less than any positive numbers Example number one complete each of the following by using less than or more than or equal. Number one, seven over five and four over five. If the denominator are same denominators, then the bigger numerator is the greater than seven, bigger than four, then seven over five is greater than four over five. Number two, the denominator are same, two denominators are four, and this numerator negative three, and this numerator negative two. And of course, negative two, it's bigger than negative three. Number three, one over five and one over six. If same numerator, then the smallest number in the numerator is bigger than the fractions. One over five, it's bigger than one over six. Number four, three over six and the two over three. If different denominator and different numerator, we can make cross multiplication. 3 multiplied by 3 will equal 9. 6 multiplied by 2 will equal 12. Of course, 12 bigger than 9. Number 5, 4 over 10 and 14 over 35. Different denominator and numerator, we make cross multiplication. 35 multiplied by 4 will equal 140. And the 10 multiplied by 14 also equal 140. Then two fractions equal are equal. Number six, absolute value of negative 10 over 15 and the two over three. We know that absolute value cancels the negative, it will equal 10 over 15. And simplifying of 10 over 15, it will equal two over three. And we can use in calculator by typing absolute value of negative 10 over 15 will equal two over three. Then these two fractions are equal. Example number two, compare between the two rational numbers, six over nine and four over seven. To comparing between these two fractions, we first make the denominators are same denominators. We take each number, six over nine and four over seven, each fraction in one line, then dividing these numbers, six and nine, six over nine, and multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the other fraction. The denominator of this fraction equals 7. Then we multiply 6 multiplied by 7 and 9 times 7. 6 times 7 equals 42. And 9 times 7 equals 63. And we make the same steps in 4 over 7. We make fractions and the typing number 4 and 7. And we take the denominator of the other fraction, which is 9, and multiplying 4 by 9 and 7 multiplying by 9. 4 times 9 equals 36, and 7 times 9 equals 63. Of course, 42 over 63, it's bigger than 36 over 63. Therefore, 42 over 63, it's what? 6 over 9 is bigger than 4 over 7. Example number 3, arrange the following numbers, ascending. Ascending, it's from smallest to greatest numbers. Number one, negative two over three, three over four, negative seven over 12, five over six, and the negative one. We can take each fractions in one line, negative two over three and three over four, negative seven over 12, and five over six and negative one. And make all the denominators of all these numbers are the same denominator. Three and the four, 12 and six, all these numbers in table 12, then we can convert all these numbers to 12. By make fraction, fraction and the type negative 2 over 3, and we need the denominator will equal 12. 3 multiplying by 4 will equal 12. Then we multiplying also negative 2 by 4. Negative 2 multiplying by 4 equal negative 8. 3 over 4, we typing 3 over 4. And we need multiplying 4 by number to make the denominator equal 12. Of course, 4 multiplying by 3 equal 12. 
then also multiplying this numerator 3 multiplying by 3. 3 times 3 will equal 9. Negative 7 over 12, its denominator already is 12, then we type this fraction or the same, negative 7 over 12. 5 over 6, 5 over 6, we need multiplying number 6 to number to being equal 12. 6 multiplying by 2 will equal 12, then we multiplying number 5 also by 2. 5 by 2 will equal 10. And negative 1, we know that number 1 can finding any number over the same number. 1 over 1, 2 over 2, 3 over 3, 5 over 5, 10 over 10, and so on. Then we can type in 1, 12 over 12, and because it's negative, it will be equal negative 12 over 12. Then we take the smallest number from these five numbers. We have three fractions, this uh, negative, negative 12 over 12, and the negative 7 over 12, and the negative 8 over 12. And the smallest number between these two, three fractions is negative 12 over 12. Then negative 8 over 12, it's the number 2. Number 3, negative 7 over 12. And now we have 9 over 12 and 10 over 12. Of course, 9 over 12 is the smallest, smaller than 10 over 12. Then this 9 over 12 will equal 4. And 10 over 12 will equal number 5. And to typing ascending order, we type the numbers the given numbers. Number one, it was negative one. Then the ascending order, negative one. Number two was negative two over three. Number three, it's negative seven over 12. Number four, it was three over four. And number five, it's five over six. And this is the ascending order of these numbers. Example number four, Find four rational numbers lying between 1 over 2 and 5 over 7. To finding rational numbers between these two fractions, we have infinite numbers between any two fractions. First, we make the denominator of these two fractions are same. By take one, taking 1 over 2 in one line and 5 over 7 in another line and make the denominator of these two fractions are the same denominator. By typing 1 over 2 and multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the other fraction, it's equal 7. 1 multiplying by 7 and 2 multiplying by 7. 1 times 7 will equal 7 and 2 times 7 will equal 14. The other fractions, we typing 5 over 7 and multiplying each numerator and the denominator by a number. By denominator of the other fractions, it's equal 2. 5 multiplying by 2 and 7 multiplying by 2. 5 times 2 equal 10 and 7 times 2 equal 14. Between 7 over 14 and the 10 over 14, we have only two numbers. 8 over 14 and 9 over 14. And he want me to find four rational numbers. Then we can multiply each numbers, numerator and denominator, by number 10. Example number 10. 7 multiplying by 10 and 14 multiplying by 10. 7 times 10 will equal 70, and 14 times 10 will equal 140. And the other fraction, we multiplying each numerator and denominator also by number 10, 10 times 10, and 14 times 10. 10 multiplying by 10 equal 100, and 14 multiplying by 10 equal 140. Between 70 over 140 and 100 over 140, we have more numbers. We can type any four numbers between them. Example, the four numbers, 71 over 140, 72 over 140, 73 over 140, 75, and so on. We are typing any four numbers, it's bigger than 71 over, and less than 100, okay? Example number five, find three rational numbers lying between four over five and three over four. It's the same of the last example. Try to solve it by yourself. Example number six, write four rational numbers between three over two and three over four. So one of them is an integer number. Integer number, that's the number, doesn't have fractions or this. We take 3 over 2 and 3 over 4, each number in one line, and make the denominator of two numbers are same denominator. 
we typing 3 and the number 2 and the multiplying 3 and the 2 by the denominator of the other fractions multiplying 3 by 4 and the 2 by 4 3 multiplying by 4 will equal 12 and 2 multiplying by 4 will equal 8 and they make the same steps of 3 over 4 we typing 3 and 4 and they take the denominator of the other fractions and the multiplying 3 and 4 by number 2 3 multiplying by 2 and 4 multiplying by 2 3 times 2 will equal 6 and 4 times 2 will equal 8 between 6 over 8 and 12 over 8 we have 7 over 8 8 over 8, 9 over 8, 10 over 8 and 11 over 8 we can type any 4 numbers and the most one number is integer number the 4 rational number will be 7 over 8 and 8 over 8, 9 over 8 10 over 8 and 8 over 8 we know that 8 over 8 will equal 1 then 8 over 8 is then is the integer number and the homework of this lesson is bit number 10 thank you for watching goodbye